Dennis Watlington. Author Dennis Watlington possesses a charismatic magnetism that sets off sparks when he enters a room. As a teenager, that electricity attracted best-selling author Gail Sheehy, who subsequently included a chapter on Dennis in her 1976 landmark hit, Passages, describing him as a spirit inextinguishable. That was true then, and it was true today. Dennis' resilient heart challenged the limits imposed on a poor black child born in the Harlem projects and built a life and a career doing what many would label the impossible. Dennis boarded the early 60s integration train at the age of 11 when he was selected to be part of a neighborhood boys club program that groomed ghetto children to receive scholarships to exclusive private schools. Ultimately, he was released from the program but not before he got a taste of privileged American freedom and the unspoken potential that lay beyond Harlem's gates. The expulsion from prep school left Dennis dispirited, and at the age of 13, he began a three-year tour through hell as a heroin addict at Street Hoodlum. But the seed of possibility that had been planted presented a conflict. Criminal behavior clashed with a desire to reach some of the goals that wet his young appetite during his flash in the pan as a productive soldier in Martin Luther King's integration initiative. A near-death experience from an advanced case of hepatitis convinced Dennis to try or die. He was left to find his way among his peers who were bent on incarceration or early ignoble death. A chance meeting with the Hotchkiss School trustee changed the course of his life. And nine months later, Dennis was attending one of the wealthiest boarding schools in New England. After Hotchkiss, Dennis attended NYU for a year before taking over the reins of an East Harlem community center that had provided a safe haven during his adolescence years. He relished the challenge of working with the neighborhood incorrigibles as he considered his options for a career. A direction began to take form when he heard a radio advertisement from an acting school in West Harlem. He signed up and quickly discovered that the theater was in his blood. As Dennis immersed himself in acting, he was offered an opportunity to be a consultant on a film script about inner city basketball. The director encouraged him to take a stab at writing and, disco and discovering a talent for shaping dramatic scenes made Dennis a fully accredited writer on the project. When the script of Champions was completed, Dennis set off for Hollywood to pitch the movie to the major studios in the hollowed halls of Tinseltown. He sensed the vibe receptive to his streetwise sensibilities. He was hooked. Back in New York, his acting career showed promise when he was offered a role in the Academy Award winning film The Dare Hunter. But the late 70s role for black actors was scarce, and Dennis decided to concentrate on writing. In early 1979, he wrote and directed his first play, Bullpen, produced by the American Theater of Actors and founded People's Neighborhood Theater, a group committed to bringing diversity to the city's theatrical community. There you go. Dennis? had one more bout with hell, when in the early 80s he succumbed to crack, the new drug that was devouring East Harlem. His addiction raged for several months until he entered a rehab determined to kick the addiction. On the road to recovery, excuse me, on the road to recovery he met with Gail Sheehy, who suggested he write it about his recent brush with destruction. And several months later, Dennis chronicled his harrowing tale in between the cracks for Vanity Fair magazine. The, the article was optioned by HBO for a television movie, and Dennis was hired to write the screenplay. More opportunities followed in print journalism, and Dennis continued to write for Vanity Fair as well as the New York Times and American Way magazine. Television soon beckoned. Dennis wrote several movie of the week scripts for the networks and spent a period of time writing for ABC daytime drama, including All My Children, One Life to Live, and The City. His feature film credits included Chester and Marlene, uh, uh, Shots, The Hawk, and the original screenplay, 19 film. In 1994, he won an Emmy Award for writing The Untold West, The Black West for TBS, 
a film about African American participation in the settling of the American West. Dennis also produced and wrote Walter Rosenblum in Search of Pitt Street on the life and career of an internationally renowned photojournalist, Sly and, and Jimmy, The Skin I'm In. Well, this was about Sly and the Family Stone and Jimi Hendrix, a New York. Okay, quickly. A New York Times showcase production. In other words, Dennis is now paralyzed. And he's been paralyzed for four and a half years. And I'll tell you something. Born in East Harlem, going to New York, we they turned out some bad motherfuckers. <laughs>